when it comes to the Apple Watch, the Apple Watch is extremely advanced and pretty superior for a smartwatch. Because very similar to our iPhones, this actually has access to an app store. And in here, you can find some very powerful apps. And so in today's video, we're going to go ahead and go through the app store and show you 10 interesting apps that haven't yet featured in the past that I'm sure one of them will be extremely beneficial for you and you can use it for day to day. So as always, my name is Eddie. Welcome to Hot Shot Tech. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this first one is all my batteries. Now the cool thing I like about this app is not only can you have it as a complication right here, but I can actually monitor my iPhone's battery life right here on the Apple Watch. So if I tap on the complication, obviously that will launch the app, but I can also monitor other Apple devices or even third party Bluetooth that I may have. So like the Beats Pro, uh, Fit Pro, I can also add like Sony and stuff like that if I really want to. Because when you launch the main app on your iPhone, you have the capability to add devices right here. Let me just clear this out. But as you see, I do have my iPad on here, my Beats. And if I like to add like a non-Apple device, I have the capability to do so. Keep in mind, some Bluetooth devices are limited as they don't transfer to like battery percentage information via Bluetooth. But you can actually add like different devices like my hybrid smartwatch and stuff as an example. So this app is pretty cool due to the fact that it's not only supported for Apple devices, but even third-party Bluetooth devices. So it allows you to monitor the battery life percentage on your Apple Watch right here. Now this next app is pretty cool because it uses AI to reply to messages. Here's a quick rundown. So the app is called Holler. Unfortunately, it's in beta. So uh, the only way to actually get have access is if you request the uh, Holler app developer a redemption code to be able to test out the beta now as the time making this video it's in the beta state but if it's released it'll be linked in the description down below but uh just a quick shout out for this app that allows you to reply using ai when it comes to receiving messages now since we're talking about reddit still slide for reddit is the next app i want to go ahead and feature and talk about this is new from the previous apps that we've used in the past for reddit because this one's actually pretty straightforward because it, it actually is really easy to like navigate compared to others. So if I go ahead and go ahead and sign in, or tap open, I'm already signing on my iPhone. But here it gives you a glance on like the front page of all your subreddits right here and there. It's really easy to navigate and you can upvote things right here. Actually like vibrate your wrist and let you know you upvoted something. I just don't like that it doesn't update, but if you're the developer watching this, uh, Add some animation for it, please. But aside from that, eh, it's not really much to it. I don't know you can actually say it right here, so I'm going to view it later on your phone. So that actually turns green, but for some reason, my up and downs don't. They only vibrate my wrist with septic feedback. Yeah, as you can see, I'm able to navigate on this pretty quickly, which is kind of interesting because the name is Slide for Reddit. But yeah, it's pretty clean and uh, it's not bad. So this next app is great for musicians. So it's called Tutor and it does sell for a dollar. But one of my musician friends, he says hey, this is the app that he uses the majority of the time when he does have his phone nearby and he actually has to like, like tune something. So uh, here's a quick rundown on the images on things I could do. I'm not a musician, nor have I ever played an instrument. So I'm not too knowledgeable on this, but I take his word for it. And uh, so I'm going to try to launch the app right here so I could show you musicians what it's capable of doing. So I'll tap to start. And I don't know what this is. Uh, comment in the comment section, educate me. But uh, it does this. So uh, yeah, hopefully it is helpful. And my friend isn't just bluffing. But as a quick rundown to that app, it does cost a dollar. But as we notice, uh, there's no ads whatsoever. So. I'd rather put, pay a dollar and then be bombarded with a bunch of random ads. And it's actually moving to my voice. I just noticed that. Huh. Interesting. But yeah, that's Tuner in a nutshell for EU uh, musicians. Now this next app is called Lunch Break. And I find this as an essential accessory. Especially if you work at a job where they're strict about your lunch periods. Or even breaks in that matter. So this is Lunch Break. And what it basically allows you to do. If you have like a 45 minute lunch. You just simply launch the app and tap take break and it's going to start a timer right here and the cool thing about this timer is if we actually go to our main page it actually is a complication as well for some reason it's just dots right now i don't know why it's doing that it was working fine uh, previously but this little loading bar will basically load up and uh, basically that'll be the time that your lunch will end 
and it will actually show right here on the complication watch phase as well. I think it's just glitched right now on me. It was working last time. Oops, I didn't want to go do that. But what I'm trying to do is go to the app store and show you guys. Here it is. So, yeah, it's literally just called lunch break, and that's literally what it allows you to do. It doesn't have enough for reviews, but from my experience, it actually is pretty. It's nice. It actually works. Unfortunately, it does cost $2. But again, it doesn't bombard you with ads. And yeah, you can see that the little meter is loading. And it's supposed to also show right here. I don't know why it's not doing that. As it'll actually notify you when your lunch is up. The next app I want to show you is Time Glance. It costs a dollar. But basically, this allows you to actually have a time and day complication available. As ridiculous it may sound, but there's some watch face complications that just look better without having like a clock. Well, let me give you a real example. So this one, for example, this watch face alone, contour. Uh, it does look really clean, but I don't like having like anything like right here. And sometimes it can be challenging to actually view the number on what time it is exactly. And that's where this complication comes in. Actually allows you to actually use a time and a date in a complication all in one. And the cool thing about this is if you click on it, you can actually hit settings. You can actually change the format as well as the colors. So if you like to customize like a watch face complication, but without having actually like a large complication on top, you can utilize this to give you a cleaner layout. Now the next app, oh, here's a overview of how the ad how complication work. But this next app is called Hour Tracker. And the cool thing is about this is it actually allows you to actually monitor your pay rate while you work. So as you clock in, you simply just launch the app and just tap and just tap start. And here you can also track your breaks as well as random pauses if you need to. And it also supports commands as well. You can actually type in like notes and such. Now I haven't really utilized this due to the fact that I work remote. So there's no need for me to actually monitor by clock in and clock out type of thing, time sheets. But I was looking at the app. You could do a lot with this thing as you can actually edit your jobs, job details, job lists, entries, pay period reports, make sure you are getting paid properly, and also supports iOS widget supports as well. So this app is pretty cool all due to that. And this app is also free to download. Now this next app does cost money, but it's actually pretty cool because if you have a power wall or even a solar system from Tesla, you could basically monitor everything right here on your wrist. And if you're a data freak like I am, you're gonna really appreciate this. As it basically will show you everything. I don't know why I'm showing you screenshot actually. I should just show you the actual app. So I'm going to go ahead and launch this. And basically it refreshes each and every time. And it shows me my Powerwall battery percentage right there. It's 100% char charged. And the solar system is generating about 6 kilowatts per hour. And since the house is charged, it's collecting as low kilowatts as it needs. And the rest is providing back to the grid. So it gives me this live data right here on my wrist. And if you slide, you can actually see the more nitty gritty stuff right here if you're a data freak like I am. So it's pretty cool and the app really does work. It's just unfortunately unfortunate that it's not free. But at the same time, like with this much information, I don't want them to sell my info. So I'd rather pay a dollar or two to have this app because this app does sell for three dollars, unfortunately. But it actually does work. And the main app on your iPhone looks pleasant to view as well. Even though if I was on my iPhone, I'll actually use the Tehla app instead. Oh, and yes, it does support a uh, complication of the power bank as well, 100%. If I click on it, it'll take me directly back to the app. And if you're wondering what app this is, basically allows me to control my Tesla right here on my wrist. And I can actually use my Apple Watch to uh, use as my car keys for my Tesla vehicle. I featured this in the previous video. You can go ahead and watch it right there. But yeah, that's the, I know I'm going to be asked this will get asked this a lot, but that's basically the Tesla third party app that allows me to control my car for my wrist. Now, I don't have the time for this, but this is a new widget app. I just discovered as time making this video, it's free to download and it actually allows you to create custom widgets to your own personal preference. You can actually select the data you want to see for your Apple watch, even change the whole entire watch face too. the way it works. Basically, it requires you to download the actual app, the widgety widgets and you could create your widgets right here. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick layout, uh, like overview on how that uh, looks like. But you have this to start off with. So you could create different layers. And you can select the model Apple Watch screen you want to choose from. Or you could import your own by using QR codes or other source of forms of files you could share upon. 
So a uh, quick overview of how that works. I'm going to experiment with this, but yeah, not bad. Now this next app, it's called Flashlight HD. I love when you use HD for some weird reason. The benefit of this app is it allows you to actually toggle the flash right here off your iPhone, off your wrist. You can actually create scrubs if you like to, as well as adjust the brightness levels right here on your Apple Watch. Only con to this is the Apple, the app needs to be running on your iPhone in the background. But I could imagine if you're working on like on a construction site or something like that, you need to have wireless access to your iPhone to launch the camera, the LED flash. I mean, I'm sure this is convenient to some. And of course, it's also free to download. So that's not bad. And lastly, the final app is really awesome because every single Apple Watch has built in GPS. So because of that, I highly recommend downloading goose map for watch this basically allows you to offline the map on your apple watch right here so you always have access to a gps or a map navigation of some sort when you need it now the beauty about this app is you do not need to have a cellular connection or cellular activation on your apple watch so you'll be perfectly fine free to navigate the streets of whatever city you're on with this app because if we load it here it shows us like a quick overview of the whole globe right here. And you can actually offload these maps as it's stellar right here in the background. So if you ever find yourself in San Francisco and you don't have your phone on you, but you need to navigate the streets, this app allows you to do that. And the beauty about this app is it's primarily focused for hikes. But if you have one of those hike trails where you just want to have your phone off, but still be able to utilize the long lasting battery life on the Apple Watch Ultra as a fine example, you can use this app with your Apple Watch to uh, still have navigation available on your wrist. There you guys have it, just like that. That is 10 interesting apps that you are now aware of and will all be linked in the video description down below as well as timestamp if you wanna revisit those chapters. And to answer some general questions, the Apple Watch band that I'm using is a titanium one, matches extremely well with the ultra, the ultra body titanium color. So I'll be sure to link that in the description down below. And no, it's not exclusive to the Ultra. You can use this on, on a Series 8 or even SE2 if you want. I have that band in the description down below. Furthermore, if you'd like to watch more of these apps, be sure to check out my older videos. If I have the complete playlist right over there, even though it's an old video, those apps are still available in the App Store and I still use day to day and to this very day on my Apple Watches. So if you'd like to find out more apps, check it out right over there. Aside from that, I appreciate every single one of you guys from watching. Like and subscribe for more Apple Watch videos like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.